Hi there, sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading. This is your next 48 hour reading. Hope you're doing really good out there. Thanks for joining me, asking your spirit guides and your angels to join us as these messages, of course, are for your most high. So pulling messages from the tarot. This is surrealist tarot that we're pulling from. And we'll clarify with the Rider Waite tarot. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. clarify Oops. tell me about the five of swords Cups in the reverse. And the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So there could have been conflict or confrontation, but something just wasn't fought for. And that's basically it. Because you have the Seven of Wands right here in the past in reverse. And you have the Seven of Wands um, in reverse as the card that represents how you feel, too. Um, two of Pentacles in the reverse. A little off balance. A little off balance. Page of Pentacles as the challenge. Well, it's about seeing things clearly. Seeing your options clearly. It's about new investments, too, or new investment opportunities. With the Page of Pentacles, I think that's probably talking about investment and money. Three of Swords at the heart of the matter. Let's find out what this is about. Okay, it is about work or something that is working. I don't know what that means except for I can tell you that if it's upright like this that that's a good um, sign and no matter what is at the heart of the matter right tell me about how you're feeling with the seven of wands in the reverse tell me about how you're feeling with the seven of wands in the reverse okay feeling like the ace of wands is the challenge New passionate beginning. That's the challenge. The King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. One's crowning you, the Nine of Pentacles. And then in your environment is the King of Wands. It has to do with things that have been built successfully. Gathering information. Also, financial gain. Huge financial windfall. And I love how they did the clouds in this one. I like the artwork. So the Hierophant, what is this um, big commitment about? <laughs> it is about investing a little bit more. Seven, 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 seven. All in reverse. 
so there's more to invest or more to be invested. The Eight of Swords is in the reverse. The Hope or Fear. I was hoping that all will go as planned. And that you can free your mind in a sense. Free your anxiety. By only thinking of like good optimistic things, right? The King of Cups is in the reverse with the Six of Swords. And I have the Page of Cups as almost a challenge. So, if something made, um, well, if, if something kind of threw you off balance emotionally, then this is a new emotional start, like the beginning. Uh, the Six of Swords could be a moving away, probably having to do with the Seven of Swords. So, it has to do with, um, I don't know, sneakiness, sneakiness, or tactic, either one. I associate, like, all... All of those words with that. The nine of wands is the perseverance, but it's what you're just not going to persevere with. And there's your guidance and your angels and your spirit team leading you along the way with the three of pentacles. Hey, page of wands on the bottom, which is good. So this is meaning something good coming to you. So let's get some more... Tell me more about these sevens. Why so many freaking sevens? Why so many sevens? Oh, okay. Because the king of pentacles. All right. So it has to do with your pentacles. And it has to do with building and keeping things structured, I guess. Um, bringing the money in. Really focusing on that instead of the things that hurt. So focusing on business and family commitment and doing it your way. Okay, what else? So if, it, if you're in a commitment, then this is just meaning that you wish this other person would invest more. Oh. The challenge is the death card, which is uh, change and transformation. Sometimes endings. Three of swords, three of swords, and that's a repeat. Tell me about the change and transformation. Three of Wands um, in the reverse. Three, three, three. So this has to do with um, kind of like a surprise. Yeah, look, it's a surprise commitment. Some of you all are um, eloping. That might be a eloping. Eloping. Uh, with the Hierophant. I don't know, maybe some, maybe going to Vegas or something like that. Obviously not for all, but it is about commitment. It's about tradition and things that are tradition. Traditionally, things that you go after with the Knight of Wands. So that's kind of like your um, uh, being aligned with the movement of your passions and your higher self. Kind of like that. Now it can be talking about another person too. Um, as those are usually offers or viewed as like travel movement things coming towards. All right, tell me about the spirit animal oracle. <clears throat> Bat spirit, number five, a rebirth is assured. Bat spirit, big change. What else? 67, turn knowledge into wisdom. And 49, rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. See what I told you, it has to do with that nine of pentacles. It's on the bottom of the deck. White raven spirit, trust in the magic. Trust in the magic. I love that. I love that one. Um, 
I think we have time for another, um, yeah, we have no time for another one. Let's pull something from the Modern Goddess Oracle and I'll read from the book. Or sum it up, I guess you could say. This is the book that came with the deck, Modern Goddess Oracle. Messages for Aries, please. Next 48 hour. A Fortuna. Fortuna is coming out. See? That's what I'm saying. The Nine of Pentacles. Fortuna. Heal. Um. Kaipataki or Kipataki. And Pandora. Nice. Okay, so let me look in the book for you. Fortuna. Fortuna. All right, this has to do with luck. Um, the symbols are coins, the wheel of fortune, the cornucopia. This says, Lady Luck is on my side. That's your affirmation. It comes, uh, it's the Greek goddess of fortune. Both good and bad oh goodness it says that it comes from the latin word fortunatus which means prosperity lucky and happy but she's also known as lady luck when you are in tune with her she shows you opportunities you may have missed otherwise fortuna greets you with open arms asking that you do the same when it comes to embracing luck and then i have a uh, heel or hell <laughs> heel his heel. Uh, keyword is hidden. The symbol is um, well, the raven, the skull. Uh, this is the Norse goddess of the underworld. The affirmation is, I embrace the mysteries. It's the mysteries into my life. It says um, she presides over presides over the realm of the dead. Um. It says uh, this person, this goddess is impartial and sees the truth. Uh, she gives no excuses and suffers no fools. She considers the underworld to be her home and is happy to stay hidden. Not everything should be visible, it says. All right, and then Kipitaki. 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 All right, keyword is trickster, and the symbols are the coyote, the maple leaves, and the trout. The affirmation is, I see through all illusion. This is the crone goddess associated with the Blackfoot tribes of the Aboriginal people of North America. They were the first man and woman made by the Creator. And so interconnected, so it can be challenging to find information on one without the other. She is a shapeshifter who has been seen by other people as a coyote or a trickster spirit. She is often portrayed as a troublemaker, but she has a benevolent creator figure who frequently helps people or teaches them important knowledge. And then, last but not least, of course, Pandora. Pandora's box. Pandora. Okay, so let's read about her. Pandora. <clears throat> Have faith that everything is going to be all right, it says. What are your hopes for the future? Um, the symbol is peach, flowers, butterflies. It says, I'm hopeful for my future. Um, yeah, okay, so, hope. She releases a lot into the world, but she manages to, like, put the lid on that in time to encapsule <laughs> hope. So, you should always have hope and always have faith that everything's going to be all right. And, of course, you have lots of things leading towards luck. So I see this as only good for you, Aries.
sending you love and light. Hey, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.